difference between exposing yourself to, to that danger and coming back normally is how you exit the, the atmosphere, and how you exit the atmosphere is all about staying on top of it. Roger. The more dangerous, insidious problem is where you get the vehicle tumbling as it exits the atmosphere. We're through with the uh, supersonic corridor. If you're, if you're not able to stop it, that means you're spinning out, you're spinning back in, and uh, spinning back into the atmosphere is, is a bad thing. But 180,000 feet, it's, it's a real, it's like threading the needle. And um, it, it, it's taken a lot of practice for us to sort of figure out what works and what doesn't work. And, um, and uh, staying on top of it uh, all the way. To condition their bodies for the massive gravitational or G-forces that the X-Prize pilots must sustain, Pete Seabold and Brian Benny practice in the Extra 300, a small aerobatic airplane. You can get your body used to many things. It's unbelievable how much force there is. All the blood in your body at that acceleration rushes to the tips of your toes. You have to work very hard tensing up your muscles to keep your, your veins constricted so you don't pass out. All right, plus seven. Good, fight it. Branches. <laughs> and, uh, I've got a lightweight flag that will go though. Monday, October 4th, 2004. The team is ready to capture the Ansari X Prize. Nice draw. Uh, see ya. Have fun. All right. Ryan. I want to give you one more hug here. Go see. <laughs> yeah. See when you get down, buddy. All right. It's All right. Brian. You got to feed my friend. Thanks, brother. The world is with you, the heavens are with you. This guy's gonna make me cry. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. We'll see you at 15. Thank you. Jeff, you're great. Have a great fight. Thanks, Brian. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, there's 70,000 radar, feather at your discretion. Uh, might give it another couple seconds. Feels a little uh, loosey-goosey right now. Copy that. After capturing the X-Prize, Brian Benny makes his final approach in Spaceship One. Brian, you're the man. <laughs> no, it's just a couple more points on the card. That's right. You got the airport inside? Deep hey, deep breath. No kidding. Can I get a shot of the three of you guys right here? Oh, you bet. Attention? You bet. Good. <laughs> okay, now pick up the speed breath. Good. Got Coming back. Green. 100. Got the runway made for good. Looking good. Right down the middle. Okay, there's 20. Up to the flare. Looking good. Five. Start. Level off. Four. I thank God that I live in a country where this is possible. And, and I really mean that. But, um, there is no place on earth where you can take this flag, bring it to space, and have, you can start a week out on a Monday like this with this, these kinds of events. It's just a fantastic start. The fact that uh, a, a small little company like ours that's a private company using private funding is able to achieve something like this. Uh, this is a very difficult thing to achieve. I mean, no one has ever done it before other than a, an entire country's government.